Hello and welcome to today's walk. Today we have a special video where we're doing three parks in one day. And how many steps can I get in? Well, stay tuned to the end of the video so we can share that with you guys. As you can see, there's the back side of Batu, and there's a lot to cover today. So let's get start today's walk now. All right, so we're starting now. Let's see what we get for today. All right, as we get our day started here, today we will not be taking the tram. So we will be taking as many steps as we can today, as much as we, ground as we can cover in both downtown Disney, Disneyland, and DCA. It is a late start for us. That's why I'm trying to get this, this uh, walk started ASAP. But we're gonna cross the bridge. If you're not sure what that bridge looks like, I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, so on the Pixar and Friends side of the um, parking structures, as you can see there, on the second level two, there's this bridge that takes you to downtown Disney, the Resorts Hotel, and you basically now can walk across into the parks. Here you have the backside of the uh, monorail entrance from uh, downtown Disney. You get on the other side of downtown Disney, but here's the backside of it. And then as you walk this way, you go through security right here, and then you're home free to go through to the parks. All right, as you pass through security, now you enter the downtown Disney area. And what we will do is walk all the way across and over to the parks. But here is the Disneyland hotels. There's another security entrance that comes from the hotels and lots and lots of construction here all right so here you see the monorail rail there's the monorail station the one i showed you from the other side and there's the entrance into the park but we will not be doing that we're trying to get as many steps as we can in the day All right, we are in the park and we're gonna walk down Main Street and we're gonna go over to Adventureland. I know it's late, but I'm still on the quest for that breakfast chimichanga, which I know is not gonna happen today, but maybe. And here come the Dapper Dan's. All right, there go the Dapper Dans, and we are continuing our steps over to, actually it's Frontierland, so that's where we're gonna go first, see if we can uh, find our chimichang breakfast chimichanga. All right, as we approach, <gasps> I think we may have found them. We may have found them. Let's get in line, hopefully they don't sell out by the time I get to to it all right well of course i got too excited because it says breakfast till 11 there on the sign but they are all sold out of the breakfast chimichanga only the regular ones are left 
So I thought I'd get it anyway and see what that's all about. But once again, a strike out on the breakfast. Chimichanga. All right, so here we have the chimichanga. Not the breakfast one, which I've been wanting to try. But let's, let's take a look inside of this. Let's see. Oh, it's like a, kind of like a bean and and pork or a beef meat, like a, almost like a chili inside, if you guys can see that. But uh, let me give it a try and I'll let you know what I think. But we're still on our quest for that breakfast burrito that just seems to sell out ASAP. So I'll let you know what I think. And we gotta continue our walk. So let's let's uh, get this going. All right, so it it's not what I expected. It's more like a, almost like a chili bean, chili bean uh, filling. I didn't have any, I, I didn't taste any uh, beef or, or pork in there, but um, it was okay. I'd give it a, a, I'll give it a three, three out of five. But anyways, let's get our steps in. Let's try to get, we got three parks to visit. We're on park one, so let's, let's uh, start walking. All right, we're gonna go through, back through Frontierland and then go through Adventureland to get, we're gonna get one big giant circle of Disneyland and then head over to uh, DCA. All right, now we can see how busy it is right here in front of Pirates and, and New Orleans right here. It is a busy day. What we're gonna do, I wanted to walk that way and walk around so I could get the most steps I can. And we're gonna try to do that. But as I'm walking through here, you can already see construction walls have gone up in front of the new Tiana restaurant that's gonna be going up. So the mint julep and beignets are also closed and they are now selling them over here. So if you can't find them because of the new construction, definitely go over to there and that's where you'll have your beignets. All right, as we enter Batu, there is a line all the way at the entrance of the entrance of Batu. What's, what's this line for? Uh, regular line? Or yeah, All right. Wow. That is the regular line to get into Rise. So let's walk on through, get our steps through Batu. All right, so as we leave Batu, we did not run into any first order or even some of the heroes. So, got our steps on another planet. Let's get back to Disneyland. Take a look at the Matterhorn. And let's walk on over to Tomorrowland. All right, as we are in Tomorrowland, and then there's the other side of uh, the Matterhorn. What is gonna happen with this? I really loved Captain EO. But uh, anyways, let's continue our steps through here and that should get us to Main Street and on to our next park. All right, as we call it a day at Disneyland, our first park, let's head on over to our second park and get some steps in there. Let's, uh, Let's continue into Disney California Adventure. All right, we are now through the gates of DCA, Disney California Adventure, and check out who's over there. Oswald, 
saying hi, shaking hands, signing autographs, taking pictures. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get going through our second park. And uh, actually, we're not doing three parks. We're doing four parks today. I kept thinking three, but it's four. And uh, that's why we got to keep moving. We're running out of time. Let's uh, let's go down over to Hollywood and on over to Avengers Campus. Hi there. Hi. All right. A little less people, it seems like. Definitely Disneyland is, seems a lot more crowded than uh, DCA. But uh, we'll see when we get to Avengers Campus because that is one of the more popular areas. There's a new show that's gonna be on Disney Plus and they had a photo op here the other day and a little parade and it's called Moon Girl. Never really heard of it, but it is a new Disney Plus show coming. If not already, it's coming to Disney Plus. All right, as we enter Guardians of the Galaxy, or go past it into Avengers Campus. Like I said, look at the ride. That's the lightning lane. And that lane is pretty long. Kinda goes back over. So like I said, this is one of the most busiest areas in DCA. And of course, check out who's there. Not all. The one and only Tony Stark, Iron Man. Look at over there. Doctor Strange. Oh wow, now as we're heading out, look, check, check it out. Ant-Man. They got the new movie that came out yesterday. And here they are already. Check them out. Just came in from the, uh, Quantum, and they're here at DCA. <laughs> All right, so from Avengers Campus, and now we're in Cars Land on Route 66. All right, as we head on into the Pacific Wharf, you can smell the chocolate here from Ghirardelli's. And you can smell the sourdough bread from the bakery right here. All right, as we cross the bridge, look at some of the work that's being done already to the bridge and the scaffolding to get that work done. So I'm sure this bridge will be closing sometime soon. All right, we are almost at our car. Um, I'll give you guys the final. I left DCA and I didn't even do any outro out, out of uh, DCA because I was just focused on getting my walk in. But uh, I'll let you know what I have for the first two parks. All right, here's what we are at. And uh, we're on our way to the next park. So let's uh, head on that way now. All right, we are here at our second park and yes, Thank you, Snoopy. We are at Knott's, so we're gonna get our walk on here, see how many steps we can take, and enjoy the park at the same time. So, all right, Snoopy, let's get this, start, this walk started. Bye. All right, there's the peanut gang, Snoopy, Sally. They're all uh, doing the heel step dance. But uh, let's uh, start walking. 
and see who else we can run into. I'd like to see Charlie Brown. We know Snoopy's busy there, so. But here's, here's some concept art. So yeah, this summer should be opening this new Fiesta Village area. And the best part of uh, Ghost Town is Sad Eye Joe. And look at how popular he is today. I'm not even gonna get a chance to say hi today. Wow, he's busy. <laughs> That's good though, he needs the company. All right, let's continue our walk, see what we can uh, grab to eat. Bye, Snoopy. Bye, All right, high five. All right, that was awesome. I've never seen Snoopy with that outfit before. So that was cool, we got to meet Snoopy today. That made our trip out here to Knott's, which I'd love to come out here, but it's hard to get out here as much as I want to. But uh, we're gonna get our steps in here today. And definitely, this is our third park out of four. All right, our place lately has been the pizzeria here and there's never really a line but and, and the food is really good so I think we're gonna stop here again and grab something to eat here all right so I just had that pasta uh, bolognese, spicy bolognese with a meat sauce and I'm telling you that is always a to-go spot for us so what do I rate that? A today's walk high five. So definitely, definitely uh, something you gotta get out here is the pasta and the portion is just <laughs> unbelievable. So anyway, that's what I thought about today's uh, lunch here at Knott's. All right, we're almost done. We're almost walked pretty much the whole park. We got a couple more spots and then uh, we'll head on over to our fourth and final park. All right, it's always fun to look in here at the Ghost Town Bakery. And uh, we'll take a look and see what they have. All right, I think I'm gonna get this uh, almond butter ganache brownie. Since it's the peanut celebration. And then we have cake popsicles. But I think I'm going to get this one since it's the celebration for peanuts because the boysenberry festival starts soon. We'll get some of that later. I'm also going to get the uh, Snoopy cupcake. They do have a lot of good stuff here. All right, let's uh, get our, our stuff and then we'll head on out the park. picked up our goodies uh, the Snoopy cupcake and the Charlie Brown almond butter I forgot what kind of brownie but it's a brownie and I picked up my new sipper cup for the 2023 season all right here we are at our car at two miles all right so we are now on our way to our fourth and final park my battery's running out, so hopefully, hopefully I have still some uh, battery left. And I'm talking about my watch. So we got quite a bit of a drive, so it's gonna take us a while to get there, but we're on our way to our final park. All right, our fourth and final park, Six Flags Magic Mountain. I'm tired, you can hear my voice. So. The parking was way real, real, real far today. Um, I haven't gotten into the park and I've already almost went a mile just from the parking. So let's get going, let's get this done. All right, we have entered Six Flags Magic Mountain. 
what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna go the reverse way that we usually go. So we're gonna go up that hill first. This is definitely gonna be the park, the toughest park of all. Already almost gone a mile, just from the car to the entrance and the hills. The hills are, we're gonna make this so tough, but it is our final, final park. Already have gone up this hill. Now we gotta go up this hill, get to the top, which is gonna be our hardest area to cover today. And man, I'm tired today. So let's get up this hill. Let's continue up this side of the mountain. All right, as we finish the hill, we end up in the underground. All right, as we leave the underground, had to get these tacos on the way out. And like I said, we're about halfway through the park, headed back out for our fourth and final park. So this is the first time I've noticed this. A dro uh, drop of doom is working from both sides now. I don't know if I noticed that before. And there they went, so that's something new for me. All right, we've gone around the park. We're gonna head back to the car and we'll have our totals. And uh, this was tiring. So finished inside the park, we're gonna head on out and go back to the car. All right, as we head back to the car, our car is parked way, way past those metal bins that I showed the other day. So it's a definite, definite long walk to finish our day here. All right, so now we see a little more just from yesterday. Really couldn't tell what this was, but it looks like they built this uh, facade here. It looks like they're building another thing on this side. So, I don't know, is it a, some type of movie set? I don't think it has to do with the park. But uh, if anybody knows, let us know in the comments. All right, that concludes our day of four parks in one day. And that was over 20,000 steps, uh, over 10 miles. I think it's 10 and a quarter mile total in the day. I am tired. I have done it. That was my goal for today. Get the four parks in, get as many steps as I could. If I would've got up earlier, I think I would've been able to do around 12 miles. So, but anyway, that concludes our day here at three, at four parks. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on today's walk. Check out that sunset. Bye.